Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically LT cable size. In previous video, we have already uh, discussed about how to calculate the ST cable size. Okay, so in this video, we will uh, focus on LT cable size and also how to calculate the cable run okay so before we start the session i would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming video so let's get started so as you know that here we are uh, calculating the cable as per a uh, full load current current carrying capacity method of this cable as per catalog cable catalog okay in next videos in further videos we will discuss two methods also we have to uh, consider the uh, short circuit and voltage drop while calculating the cable size and cable sizing and selection okay so first we'll complete this method current carrying capacity method okay then we'll move to this two method so this is the SLD single line diagram. So ST cable side we have already calculated. Okay. Now we are going to calculate the cable size for this LT side means secondary side of transformer to the breaker. Okay. This is the ACB or ACB to our LT panel. This is the feeder one. Okay. So here this is the feeder two. So here we are going to calculate the cable size for it. As you know that this is the load okay so now move to calculation part so here we are going to calculate cable size for lt side feeder 2 so here we have a power is 1000 kva which is apparent power and voltage is 415 then as you know that apparent power is equal to square root 3 into v into i where v is the voltage then i is the load current now let's calculate the full load current so here we have a full load current then P divided by square root 3 B. Let's put the value of this P. So what is the P? P is 1000 kVA. So we converted it to VA by multiplying with 1000. Then value of root 3 is 1.732 and voltage is 415. Okay. As we have three phase system. Now after calculating this, we get 1391.24 ampere current. Okay, so this is the full load current of this feeder as per this load. Okay, now here we have calculated full load current. Now move to cable catalog. So now we'll have to select the cable as per this full load current. So here we have a full load current 1391.24 ampere. Okay, so here this is the cable catalog. If you look into the cable catalog, this much of current will not find here if we look into this catalog this is the maximum cable size here 1000 square mm if we look into cable into air we are looking for 3 3 and 3 half core or 4 core so here we don't have a that much of current carrying capacity cable size here as you can say up to 700 to 3 ampere only we can find 704 if we look into ground as well now what we have to do we have to uh, increase the number of the cable to get that much of to bear this that much of full load current okay so as i have already briefed you our as per lt ca cable catalog cable is not available as per calculated value of current that is this one <clears throat> now what we have to do now we have to increase the cable runs number of the cables now let's calculate the cable run here we are going to install the cable in underground okay considering the we are going to lay the cable in underground so we consider this one part and here we go for three and a half or four core okay so this much of current so first we go for case one so 630 square mm cable can carry 537 537 ampere current so current ca capacity of 630 square mm uh, cable is 537 ampere now as for this let's calculate the cable run basically 
हाउ मेनी केबल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट फुल लोड करेंट में थर्टीन हंड्रेड एम्पियर ओके सो फॉर दिस सो करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज फाइव हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन फोर दिस सिक्स हंड्रेड थर्टी स्क्वायर एम एम केबल देन वी हैव अ फुल लोड करेंट दिस मच दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द नंबर ऑफ केबल रन सो नंबर ऑफ केबल रन इज इक्वल टू फुल लोड करेंट डिवाइडेड बाई करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ दी दिस केबल एंड डी रेटिंग फैक्टर दिस डिपेंड्स अपॉन दी वेदर वी आर गोइंग टू ले द केबल इन अंडरग्राउंड और इन एम्बियंट मीन्स एयर सो हेयर वी हैव अ फुल लोड करेंट थर्टीन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट टू फोर एम्पेयर देन करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज फाइव हंड्रेड sorry so approximate four runs if we go for we got four runs cable so first if we are going to use this 630 square mm cable then we have to use four run four nodes 3.5 or 4 core 60 630 square mm cable but it is too big okay so we have to go for another case also we have to reduce the cable so let's select the cable size 500 Square mm. If you go to uh, cable catalog, here we found current carrying capacity for 500 square mm in underground case for three and half core cable. So we found 481 ampere. This is current carrying capacity of this uh, 500 square mm cable. Now let's calculate the uh, cable run as per this 500 square mm cable. so as you know that full load current divided by current carrying capacity multiply with d rating factor so here full load current is 1391.24 then 481.07 okay 07 is the d rating factor because we are going to lay the cable in un uh, ground underground okay that's why we have to consider this value 481 after calculating this it will come 4.1 so here as well we got four runs in 630 also we got four run so up to here which one we prefer because 630 is too expensive and too heavy as compared to 500 so up to case 2 we go for four runs cable with 500 square mm now again let's decrease the size now from the uh, cable cap catalog so for 400 square mm what much is current carrying capacity this is 4 to 6 ampere okay full load current is already we know 1391.2 ampere now let's calculate as per this cable cable run how much cable run is required so number of cable run is full load current divided by current carrying capacity then again full load current this current carrying capacity of this 400 square mm and this derating period after calculating it will become 4.6 so 5 run so 5 run cable <coughs> required in case 3 okay 5 run now here we decreasing the cable sides now again case 4 we decrease it to 300 square mm let's see how much run will be here as per this so if we look into catalog so 300 square mm cable current carrying capacity is 5 uh, 375 ampere full load current is this then number of current ca ca uh, number of cable runs is full load current divided by current ca carrying capacity d rating factor if we uh, put this value then it will become 5.2 so here as here for 300 square mm as well we have a five run cable okay for 400 square mm as well we have a five run cable okay now case 5 let's go below the 300 as well so 240 square mm so as per this how much run it will calculated let's see so current carrying capacity of this 240 square mm is 333 ampere now full load current is 1391.24 so cable run is as per this 5.9 run means 6 run okay now let's below it go to below it so uh, for 185 square mm if we select 
185 square mm so how much cable run required for uh, that particular full load current so current carrying capacity of this much cable size is 287 here this we this we have taken from cable catalog okay full load current is this one after calculating it 6.9 run is required means 7 run okay now let's summarize all for 630 square mm for this full load current 4 run requires then 5 square mm cable 4 runs then 400 square mm 5 run then 300 square mm 5 run then 240 square mm 6 run then 185 square mm 7 runs okay if we look into all these if we increase the more runs like this 6 and 7 then you have then we have to very difficult to terminate the or connect the cable at breaker side okay here we have a suppose 7 run of cable for 180 square mm so how much r is 7 then y is 7 7 nodes of cable we have to use log and then we have to terminate over there so this is too difficult that's why uh, what we recommend uh, not to go for higher run okay so up to 6 and 7 let's cancel it because it is more higher runs then this is the maximum size okay 630 square mm 4 runs 500 square mm 4 runs so it is too heavy as well and it is expensive as compared to this two here we have a less size of cable definitely will no go uh, because here we have a 400 square mm cable is also 5 run and then we have a 300 square mm cable is also 5 run so you go for this one this is the below because this all this is also for 5 run so what we have to do we have we go for 5 run so here this is the less number of cable size even run is less okay here we can calculate or terminate the easy one and if you compare to this it will more convenient for termination and as well as cost wise also so better to go with this one 300 square mm cable size okay generally we go for this one so here in this case we selected this one so 5 run 3.5 port 300 square mm aluminium xlp cable armor is required it means 5 run means suppose this is the cable okay one is r y b and one is half neutral so 3 3.5 this is the one so this is the one number of one run of the cable so as per this what number of required five runs so so five number of set cable required for feeder two now we have to terminate all this cable in lt side main incomer for feeder two so this is the number of cable 3.5 square m for as per the calculated full load current okay now here for lt side this much is already calculated for st side now here for feeder to 5 run 3.5 core 300 square mm aluminium xlp cable armor cable is required so here we have calculated in next video we will go for this feeder as well okay so hope you guys understand about how to calculate the cable size in lt side okay and else as well if we do not have a cable size as per the calculated full load current uh, we have also learned about how to calculate the cable runs so hope you guys understand about these two topics so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming video so thank you very much see you again in next video